all right so here the question is that we have two sets a and b such that b is contained in a we need to find out that which of the following is not a possible value of a namely 0 1 2 and 3 right so let's let's dive deeper into what kind of sets a and b really are so if x is an element in a it would mean that x plus 2 upon x minus 4 is negative which means that x plus 2 and x minus 4 are of opposite signs because if the product of two two real numbers are negative that it means that they are of opposite signs this means this means that x has to lie so x has to lie in between in between negative 2 and 4 where negative 2 can be included and 4 cannot be included because if 4 if x takes the value 4 in that case x plus 2 upon x minus 4 will have a denominator 0 which is not possible right at the same time if x is an element in b then then we want x square minus ax minus 4 to be less than equal to 0 observe that this is a quadratic equation and if a quadratic equation with a leading coefficient positive leading coefficient observe that the leading coefficient is positive is positive so let me let me write, write a small result down here a small result right so if if f is a quadratic equation equation with positive leading coefficient so I'll just denote positive as greater than 0 with positive leading coefficient coefficient then then fx less than equal to 0 if and only if x is between the roots x is between the roots so let me denote alpha and beta as the roots as the roots of the quadratic of the quadratic equation f right roots of roots of fx equal to 0 so this is a small result which is very easy to observe so using this result we can conclude that in this case x should lie again in between the roots so what are the roots of this equation the roots would be uh, applying Sridhara Charjo formula we can say that the roots are a plus minus so I'll just write a minus here and then a plus here then we have an under root a squared plus 16 upon 2 this would these are the two roots and we and if x has to satisfy this particular inequality then x has to lie in between the roots that is what the result says right and the result is also pretty straightforward to prove I am including closed brackets at both ends because if x takes any of the values which is equal to the roots then the inequality will be equal to 0 which is allowed in our case because the because it is allowed in our given inequality so let me rewrite let me rewrite what b and a are so b is precisely b is precisely this set a minus under root a squared plus 16 upon 2 a plus under root a squared plus 16 upon 2 this is the interval which a is which b is right and what is a a is simply minus 2 comma 4 this is a and we are given that b is contained in a right we are given that b is contained in a what does this mean this means this means that negative 2 is less than equal to a minus under root a squared plus 16 upon 2 and that will be less than equal to a plus under root a squared plus 16 upon 2 and this term will be less than 4 strictly less than 4 because in 4 we have an open bracket right so this is strictly less than 4 now if you solve for the 
inequalities you will observe so let's let's break this up into two inequalities okay so let's call this inequality 1 and let's call this inequality 2 so if you solve for inequality 1 we have minus 4 less than equal to a minus under root a squared plus 16 now if I rearrange and I square the terms I get a squared plus 16 less than equal to a plus 4 whole squared which is nothing but a squared plus 16 plus 8a that would mean that would, that is same as saying that 8a is non-negative which means a is non-negative because 8 is also non-negative right so this is the criteria this is the criteria that we have a is non-negative similarly if you solve for the equation 2 if you solve for equation number 2 then you would have a plus under root a squared plus 16 strictly less than 8 again rearranging and squaring the terms you obtain 64 plus a squared minus 16 a this would be equal to a squared plus 16 this is same as saying that 16 a is strictly less than 48 which is same as saying that a is less than 3 observe that this less than equal to sign is strict so so combining both the inequalities we can say that a lies in between a lies in between 0 and 3 which means a cannot take the value 3 so a can take the values 0 1 and 2 it cannot take the value 3 and that is precisely our question the question says which of the following is not a possible value of A and the correct answer is 3.